Good morning and welcome to uh, Sunshiny Ohio. At least sunshiny today, right? I've got my thinking juice, and uh, I think we're going to do a video that's a little bit different than normally things that I do. Uh, of course, you know, car reviews, things like that. So definitely towards cars, but um, you know, I've always been intrigued, you know, by different ways to make you know, money, revenue streams. Um, and in the car business, you know, some people talk, sometimes think that that's not possible. Well, we're going to walk through a little bit of the inventory in the back here, and we're going to look at things that I see and that I follow on Bring a Trailer uh, that I think that, you know, if you uh, had the right time and um, you know, amount of persistence to look for some of these cars, these cars sometimes bring well over what retail brings on these vehicles, which is always amazing, but you know, I mean, good for them, good for the seller, good for Bring a Trailer, and you know, good for the buyer too, because I'm sure they're getting a great car. So let's uh, let's go back in the back building here and, and take a look at some of the cars that I think uh, do extremely well on Bring a Trailer and, you know, could help you down the long run. All right. And back to the crypt we go. Let's kick some lights on. All right, so walking straight into the building, there are a couple cars that come very, very front to mind. First one is the F-355. Now, if, again, if you follow Bring a Trailer or if you haven't, you know, definitely should get on there if you're a car guy. Um, these F-355s tend to do extremely well on Bring a Trailer. It's a great car. Now the crazy thing, or let's say ironic thing is, these are 355s when in inventory seem to be some of the vehicles that sit the longest. I think it's a great car. I think given you know, maintenance is done correctly and a good color combination, of course, and also great gated manual, I think it's a great car to have, drive, and own, and also a great car to find if you've a good deal and then put on bring a trailer. Again, a car that I see that does extremely well. We'll get back to we'll get back to this. Another car, which I think is an amazing body right now, are these Maserati Grand Sports. This car in inventory right now is twenty five or twenty six thousand dollars. Twenty six thousand dollars for a front engine Ferrari engine, now the purest I know, it's a Maserati motor, but definitely for Ferrari provided. Sounds great, looks amazing, and you can pick these cars up so extremely cheap. And again, if you get on the trailer and you go through auction it's almost because I'm a car nerd and that's what I do, you'll see that these cars bring substantially more than, let's just say, what I'm asking, the 25 to 26,000. I've seen these cars do 30, 35,000. Now, do I think somebody's getting a bad deal? I don't think somebody's getting a bad deal. I think that somebody is paying what they should for a vehicle that I think is worth much more than that. Um, another vehicle, when we walked in. So these older Bentley Rolls Royce convertibles, the Corniches, Cornish 2s, um, this Bentley right here, such a cool car, um, such an amazing cool look, um, it's so iconic and from different movies, reminds me of like Caddy Shack and things like that, uh, but such a great car, again, a car that when I see it on Burner Trailer does extremely well, and you know, again, I think it should, you know, but again, in inventory, sometimes these cars get forgotten and lost and tend to sit and bring a trailer, they seem to fly off the shelves in seven days. Okay, let's keep moving. So many cool things to look at. And believe me, we'll definitely get back to the exotic car videos. And of course, the Palladium. My favorite you know, pair of gold number 11s. The SLS. The SLS. We're going to way through the Aston Martins. And here we go. So, Pontiac Transit, 1999. All these trans -ams, I think, are hugely close to make a significant increase in value. Um, the anniversary cars, definitely, even cars like this, just a Ram Air WS6 Trans Am. You're seeing a lot of the Z28 Camaros now, IROC Camaros, starting to make some big numbers out there. And the Trans Ams are definitely following right behind. So if you currently have a Trans Am and you bought it 10 years ago, you're in luck. I think your ship's coming in. If you haven't owned a Trans Am and you're looking to get a Trans Am, I'd say you need to jump on the boat right now. 
you know, when you get on Bring a Trailer and you see what these cars are bringing, it is absolutely worth the money. I'm biased because I love these cars, cars of my generation, early 90s, late 90s. But I think that these are cars that if you look at them and you study them, again, being a car nerd, you know, that's what I am, you study them, you're going to see these cars are appreciated immensely. And of course, it's a Tucker Hyundai F-150 Wiggle our way through here. Uh, tight spaces, tight spaces. <laughs> Even the Jaguar XKs is a fun Bentley upon Bentley. Another Maserati. So, myself and Autovlog did a video when we kind of touched on these stouts. These cars again, the VR4 3000 GT twin turbos, the stealth twin turbos, cars of my generation, these cars are skyrocketed. These cars are going to start hitting the roof. These cars right now in pristine condition. If this car with 2,000 miles, you know, th these are twenty-five to $30,000 cars. Ten years ago, this was a $15,000 car. Bring a trailer, I think one went pretty recently, and I, and I can't say exactly when, but I remember it going pretty recently. Uh, I think it had 20, 30,000 miles on it, and it's still about $20,000. Again, cool vehicle, really cool opportunity if you find one to make some money or keep and enjoy, which is what I do. It's always my problem is that I keep all these cars way, way too much. <laughs> I never get rid of them. There's a cool guy out of them. Let's see if it's a manual. This is always the fun part. This is like the op unwrapping presents. And it is a game manual. So these speak for themselves. I don't think I need to tell anybody how cool the gated manual V10 Lamborghini is. I mean, it's just cool. <laughs> it's it, it's just cool. This is this is literally one of my favorite renditions of the Lamborghini Diario. I mean, I know the taillights are a little bit dated, and so the front headlights are a little bit dated. But man, you get in this car and you shift through the gated manual and you make the V10 scream. It's just so cool. <laughs> There's just nothing like it. It's just amazingly, amazingly cool. So, we must have just got this in. This will have to go into the collection, collection of Arthur. Man, super neat. Okay, and... We've got the Porsche Cayman. So I think this is a Cayman S. These cars are like the, I don't know, the, these in the boxers, I guess, you know, to some people, these are like the ugly ducklings, the, uh, the stepchild that is forgotten. I don't think so. I, I think these cars are super, super neat. Mid engine, really fun to drive. I mean, this one is in a Tektronic, which, you know, isn't my first blessing of a transmission. Well, nonetheless, a Tektronix still is a great transmission for somebody who just wants to cruise and enjoy and not shift and fly around corners real fun. So these cars have, I think, hit the bottom of their depreciation. So when you're out looking at them, you're going to see, you know, these cars, these were, you know, these were not cheap cars when they were new. And this one, in, I think this is Cobalt Blue. Just a really cool example and a really fun car to own. The same thing with the Baxter S's. I mean, it's such an amazing car. It always goes into the angel saying, you know, bang for buck. I mean, the Cayman and the Baxter S or Baxter, it's a lot of car for the money. It's a lot of bang for the dollar. And you, know, you can see these cars on the Brigham Trailer all the time. And you can see them if you, uh, if you, you catch them on a, on a post in a forum or somebody saw them privately. I mean, here, well, this is. <laughs> I've seen people buy some of these cars privately and put them on Bring a Trailer and other, you know, other auction websites. I'm not just going to say Bring a Trailer is the only one out there, but it's definitely the one that I follow a lot. I've seen people make double their money, and it's it's crazy because you know what the market says a car is worth and what a car really is worth to an enthusiast is two different things, and I think that's what Bring a Trailer really brings out is it really shows the public. 
here's what the book says something's worth, and here's what an enthusiast is willing to pay for a car. An enthusiast, you know, calls crazy. We're willing to pay more, given it's got the cool factor. All right, delete that many. Another bad Oh, this one wasn't a gated manual. Ugh, come on, people. Ferraris have badges, shields, not Lamborghinis. Ugh, could rant all day on that. What else do we got back here? We've got the H1 Hummer. We've got the Mint Auto Green, the Aurora. Unusual autobiography. Raptor, of course. I love these cars, these DBs. Such a cool car. This is a Vanquish, sorry. Such a neat car. I love Vanquish stuff. A little Jaguar on top back into the side. So, kind of a quick video, kind of a thing that, you know, I think about. I guess I'm going to start sharing my thoughts and see who wants to listen. <laughs> but, you know, every time I go through Bring a Trailer, I always see things that we have in inventory. And I always see, again, how sometimes things may sit in our inventory and not get that much attention paid to them. Uh, when I'm, when, you know, when I'm bringing a trailer, they get tons of attention paid to them, to the fact of, you know, people paying more than what they could have possibly bought it for at a dealership. You know, but again, you know, enthusiast-owned cars definitely bring more money. I 100% agree with that. I think that getting on a website like that, most people that are selling cars there are enthusiasts. So, you know, something to be said about buying a car from an enthusiast. But, again, some cool little cars, some selections that, you know, normally I don't bring. Normally I'm doing million-dollar cars, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar $500,000 cars, which... Hey, it's cool. <laughs> I, I love it. It's cool. And I'm going to continue to do it. But, you know, also some of the fun stuff that I like are finding the cool little finds that are under $30,000 that you could own and, you know, not lose money on, even own and make money on. I mean, how cool is it to own a car like the Stealth or like this gated Gallardo and, and sell it in a year and break even or, or even make a couple dollars? So... I'm going to open comments up, definitely put some, put some stuff down in the comments on what you guys want to see next. You guys want to see some more crazy cars? Let's do some more crazy cars. You guys want to see some of my picks on what I think about in daily life as an exotic car salesman? <laughs> I can do that, uh, but definitely more car content. So uh, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, we'll see you.